Grace Kelly's beautiful, educated, and extremely elegant daughter was extremely unlucky in love. As a child, Caroline was a very quarrelsome and explosive girl. Grace Kelly sometimes couldn't cope with her daughter's violent temper. Caroline was proud of her position as a princess. Although her grandfather earned his living at first by working on a construction site, and Prince Rainier's great-grandmother was a simple laundress, or, according to other sources, a seamstress. Caroline stood in front of the mirror for hours, trying on different outfits and playing with her hair. Since childhood, she has enjoyed the responsibilities associated with her position as the eldest daughter of the ruler of Monaco. Princess Grace used it, for example, to participate in the welcoming ceremony for guests arriving in Monaco. In 1960, the then three-year-old Caroline was supposed to greet the former Queen of Spain. The Princess of Monaco taught her daughter to curtsy, told her how to present the Queen with a bouquet of flowers, and politely address her in English. However, when it came to greeting the Queen, Caroline couldn't utter a word out of excitement. Another time, when she and the rest of the family were going to greet Cardinal Tisserand, who, as her mother taught, should be addressed as Your Eminence, when she saw an elderly gentleman with a long gray beard, she said, Good morning, Santa Claus. Of course, one could ignore these protocol blunders, but Grace was horrified to see how the eldest daughter was trying to dominate her younger sister. Even Crown Prince Albert remained in the shadow of his older sister for a long time. When he didn't want to give her the toy, she just bit him. As a teenager, Caroline became a typical teenager striving for independence, and Grace complained to family and friends that she had no power over her daughter. In 1971, the princess went to the UK to study at a boarding school, and after graduating in October 1974, she began her studies at the prestigious Paris School of Political Science. Then she blossomed as a woman. She made a great impression on the media, men, and Parisians. Grace Kelly was excited. She was so worried about her daughter that she even called her at 2 o'clock in the morning to find out what she was doing, and together with her younger daughter, unexpectedly stopped by her Paris apartment. Caroline didn't like it. She wanted to escape from parental care, and wanted to have fun and dance at discos. Grace was so horrified and shocked by the photos of the naked princess with a cigarette in her mouth and a glass in her hand that she told her daughter to return home, but Caroline did not obey. She sarcastically told her mother that she had no right to lecture her, because the whole of Hollywood had once gossiped about her behavior. Grace dreamed that her eldest daughter would marry Elizabeth Hugh's son and heir to the throne, the current king of Great Britain, Charles I.I. However, there was not the slightest spark between the two royals. No one expected that the eldest daughter of the Prince of Monaco would fall in love with an ordinary person. It was Philip Chunat. He was 18 years older than Caroline, worked as a financier, but had a bad reputation as a heartthrob and a loser. Much to the chagrin of her parents, Caroline accepted his marriage proposal. The whole of Paris was rocked by rumors that Junot had bet with his friends that he would lead the princess from the house of Grimaldi to the altar, which he eventually succeeded. Meanwhile, his friends deny this, claiming that Philip really loved Caroline, but could not show it to her. Rainier and Grace tried to convince their daughter not to marry this man, but Caroline was stubborn. The princess's wedding to a financier with an ambiguous reputation was regarded as a scandal. Members of the royal families even refused invitations to the wedding. As a result, not a single royal family sent a representative, even the current King Charles I.D., who had sympathy for the princely family, refused an invitation to the wedding. On June 28, 1978, Carolina Grimaldi, dressed in a dress created by Christian Dior, married Philip. Unfortunately, her parents' predictions turned out to be correct, because the marriage lasted only two years. As it turned out, Junot's liberalism, which the young princess admired so much, extended to their marriage. Journalists quickly caught the banker in an ambiguous situation with the daughter of a Costa Rican diplomat. At first, attempts were made to save the marriage and avoid a new scandal. Caroline even agreed to invite a trusted journalist to the apartment she shared with her husband to interview the couple. It was assumed that Caroline and her husband were supposed to show themselves in public as a loving and harmonious couple. 
However, already during the interview, the couple began a verbal altercation, which made Caroline unable to hold back tears. Grace Kelly was very angry with her son-in-law. She knew in advance that this man was completely unworthy of becoming her daughter's husband. On the same day, when Caroline was crying in front of a reporter, Grace Kelly went to her daughter's apartment, talked to her son-in-law, and then packed Caroline's things herself. Caroline returned to her parents' house, and on October 9, the couple's divorce was announced. Caroline began to seek solace in the arms of other men. She began a serious affair with Robert Rossellini, the son of the famous actress Ingrid Bergman and director Robert Rossellini, but this relationship soon cracked. Grace hoped that her daughter would finally meet a man who would make her happy, but she did not live to see this moment. In 1983, Caroline married Stefan Casaraghi. He was three years younger than Caroline and was a handsome and charming Italian businessman. This time, Prince Rainier approved of his daughter's choice, because Kazarai was not only handsome, but also well-educated and succeeded in business, earning a fortune. On December 29, 1983, the wedding of Prince Rainier's daughter took place, which, due to the fact that the Vatican did not annul the princess's previous marriage, the wedding was a civil and modest ceremony. Even the bride's relatives on the mother's side did not receive an invitation to the wedding. Caroline really found happiness next to her second husband, and the couple had three children. On October 3, 1990, Caroline's husband took part in a race in the Mediterranean Sea, after which he intended to end his sports career. Unfortunately, however, his boat ran into a high wave and capsized. Kazarai paid for this accident with his life. He was only 30 years old at the time of his death. His funeral took place exactly on the 8th anniversary of Princess Grace's funeral, reminding everyone of the curse hanging over the Grimaldi family. Widowed Caroline could not come to her senses for a long time. Despite numerous affairs, not a single man appeared next to her, either in public or at the court of Monaco. To her father's delight, she worthily represented the principality with her father instead of her late mother. Less than nine years after the tragic death of her second husband, the princess introduced another man to her father, with whom she had a relationship. And although this time she chose a real prince, her lover did not like Rainier. Rainier told his daughter that she would not find happiness in marriage with Ernest Augustus V, Duke of Hanover. The Hanoverian prince had already had an unsuccessful marriage with Swiss Chantal Hopfuli, a woman without aristocratic roots, with whom he had two sons. According to rumors, it was the affair with Caroline that caused Prince Ernest's divorce, which was demanded by his first wife in 1996. The prince himself earned a northern reputation, he had a bad temper, and was known as a rowdy. No one predicted a bright future for the new marriage of her daughter and Grace Kelly. Despite these bad omens, the couple got married on January 11, 1999. Since the prince was a Protestant, Caroline, who received the title of Duchess of Hanover on her wedding day, agreed that their children together should be raised in the Protestant denomination, although she herself remained a Catholic. The couple's only child, Princess Alexandra Charlotte Ulrika Mariam Virginia von Hanover, was born on July 20, 1999, and was baptized in the Lutheran Rite. Unfortunately, the press and Prince Rainier were right again. Caroline did not find happiness with Ernest. It was rumored that he even resorted to physical abuse when he was drunk. Once he broke the nose of a cameraman who dared to film him, then publicly urinated in front of the building where the Expo 2000 exhibition was held in Hanover, four years later he beat an Austrian photojournalist, and in 2005 he beat the owner of a disco because, in his opinion, the music was too loud. The press also reported on his drunkenness and addiction to noisy drinking parties. In 2005, Ernest was admitted to the hospital with acute pancreatitis, a typical condition of alcoholics. His condition was severe, and Caroline was very worried about her husband's illness, especially since her father was seriously ill at that time. Rainier Grimaldi could not stand the disease and died on April 6, 2005 and his son-in-law recovered thanks to the efforts of doctors. Caroline allegedly promised herself then that she would do everything possible and save her marriage. Unfortunately, time has shown that even a serious illness, 
during which Ernest struggled with death, did not change his character and habits, and Caroline decided to leave him, but did not find the strength to go through another divorce. In 2009, the couple announced their separation, and Caroline and her daughter returned to Monaco. Her husband sought solace in the arms of young women. 